Let's go to our young researcher, Tuhin, who's gone around to many of these sites proposed and, um, you know, in the pipeline, a little bit of construction happening. Sajad Hussain Tuhin uh, is research coordinator at CLEAN, which is Coastal Livelihood and Environmental Action Network and has been involved with monitoring several power plants, including the Bola IPP, uh, the Barisal Coal Power Plant, the Pyra Coal Power Plant, the Summit Barisal HFO Power Plant, the Summit Meghnaghat Power Plant, and the LNG terminals run by Accelerate Energy and Summit Group. Um, Tuhin seems very young, um, but really his experience uh, far exceeds his age. Um, I know that for a fact, I've been there um, and seen some of his work. Um, Tuhin is going to tell us more about the Meghnaghat area and the power plants which are currently uh, coming up or to come up there. Yes, Tuhin. Thank you, Vidya, for uh introducing myself good afternoon everyone uh, thanks uh, for being here and uh, i'm very much grateful to bangladesh working group on external dates good watch insaf setback lnsp insaf and other co-organizers for giving me this chance to share some of the information about uh, another dirty projects near dhaka so uh, i have made a very small presentation so i would like to share this Okay, so here we are. Uh, so first of all, uh, as we know, the Meghnagat is very close to Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. And uh, first of all, we need some information for the background work uh, about Dhaka. Dhaka uh, is uh, one of the most polluted cities on the world. Now uh, Dhaka is ranked second uh, old city for live and uh, it is the 17th uh, uh, of uh, world uh, air pollution index category in 2019 and our uh, population in dhaka is uh, increasing since uh, 1950s now we are dealing with 21 million people in the 300 uh, uh, square kilometers of land and we have to deal with 35 million people by 2040 so uh, while Bangladesh is the champion of old uh, air quality index globally now, followed by India, China, and other nations. Uh, so if we compare these two cities to big capitals of Southeast Asia, we will uh, find a very rustic similarity uh, among themselves. Uh, Dhaka ranks 17th in the air pollution. Uh, Delhi is now in 11th, and Dhaka is the second old city to live and uh, fifth uh, for the uh, Delhi. And the air quality index, I mean, the uh, pollutant index is quite similar uh, uh, to Dhaka and Delhi. So in this circumstances, if we uh, have a, a deeper look at the pollution parameters of Dhaka, it has an ever increasing number in PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentration in the air since after 2000. Dhaka air quality remains unhealthy from 1998, assessed by WHO, World Health Organization, However, in uh, 2020, Dhaka experienced a healthy air quality uh, ever since because of this pandemic outbreak. So uh, now we have uh, 37 power plants uh, near Dhaka. Uh, if we look uh, at the fuel of those power plants, 64% uh, of them are running by natural gas, followed by 31% by HFO, uh, and only 5% uh, on uh, HSD. However, surprisingly, we don't have any renewables near Dhaka, so it's zero uh, percent. For borrowers, BPDB is producing uh, 2,704 megawatt by their 11 power plants over this area, followed by Summit, uh, they're producing 1,204 megawatt now, and uh, Pentecost 450 megawatt or 450. So if uh, Reliance comes into the action, they will automatically be in the third position after Summit uh, by producing 718 megawatt by uh, LNG. So uh, let's uh, see where uh, is our project location. In the ESIA of uh, uh, Summit, uh, I mean, uh, the Reliance, 
uh, ESIA, you will find that it is 45 kilometers away from Dhaka city. Uh, I think they are uh, concerning about the um, airports only because airport is 45 kilometers away from the project site. Actually, the uh, project uh, is uh, located only 14.5 kilometers from Dhaka. And now uh, Meghnagat is uh, only 11.2 square kilometer of uh, island in Meghna River. And uh, it is already three power plants over there. And uh, Meghnagat alone is producing 887 megawatt now. Uh, in 2022, this number will increase to uh, 2027 uh, megawatt. Uh, because uh, summit is constructing uh, another power plants over this area along with the Reliance one. So uh, 26 heavy industries is also running at this area uh, in, uh, right now. So if we look at the, some basic information about this uh, uh, project, Reliance will put uh, 750 megawatt to this list. As I said earlier, constructing a combined power cycle uh, power plant uh, it's a category rate by ECR 197. Uh, this is the law of environment uh, in Bangladesh and category A uh, uh, project uh, according to ADV sector policy. It will be uh, in function for 22 years. It starts in 222. So uh, uh, after a year, it will be in uh, action. Uh, it has a huge budget of 1265 million US dollar and ADB will finance uh, 330 million. They have already passed uh, 200 million and uh, Zera will fund 645 million as a Japanese company and they will hold uh, the ownership of 49% and remaining 61% will be uh, in Reliance pocket. But most interesting part of this, uh, that uh, the guarantor of this ADV fund is Bangladesh government, which means Reliance will do the business and our taxpayer money will be there to make them up. So this is the current situation. No, I just said project. that, uh, the, uh, of course, that time only India thing was available. So I basically said that, uh, I mean, we should so, also look at this statement of reason because that actually tells the uh, you know, the whole, uh, I mean, uh, my idea was that, you know, there are a lot of newsletter floating in the market, so to speak. So I was just thinking how, wait a bit, please, how I, we can I, make see. a difference. Cool. So that, uh, I don't know. The statement of please it actually wait. tells you why such uh, regulation or why such amendment One actually second. can fail. Um, and if we could highlight some of this in the brief itself, then it kind of makes things a little bit more interesting. And to find credible. out who is it. So that was, please uh, mute your uh, yeah. mic. Who are you? Let us uh, go through all the presentations, please. Uh, we've requested people uh, who are participants uh, to mute their mics and, um, and their videos also need to be off. It's only the panelists who will have their videos on and only those speaking and presenting will have their mics on. Thanks. To him, okay. would you begin again? Okay, I mean, yes, continue uh, and we'll have a, yeah. a, a, a minute and a half left. Oh, no, yours is 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I will restart. So the total process of this destruction starts in 200, uh, 2015 while an MOU was signed between DPDB and Reliance uh, in July 200, uh, 2015. Initially, Reliance had a vision to contribute uh, 3000 megawatt in the national power grid of Bangladesh. So uh, they have proposed two other projects, including this one, uh, which was a 1500 megawatt CCPP, a combined cycle power plant in Chittagong and an FSRU in Kutubdia. However, both of them are um, in very preliminary stage and FSRU or FSRU government is not interested to build uh, another FSRU because we have already two right now. So in 2016, LOI has been signed uh, with Reliance, and uh, in 2017, it got site clearance. Uh, in the year, uh, in this very year, I mean in 2017, Reliance approaches this project to FDB funding, and in uh, 2018, they uh, approached this project to Jera. Uh, for partnership and uh, Samsung for EPC contract. In 2019, the agreement was signed among Reliance, Jera, Samsung, and uh, the land trading starts. 
currently in 2020 the construction is going on and we are unlikely enough to have another dirty fossil fuel power plant in Mizoram. So this is uh, not a very uh, new power plant. However, the entire power plant is just a garbage uh, repacked in Bangladesh. Initially, Reliance had a plan to ship uh, one of their gas turbine to Indonesia, but uh, and then they approached to Bangladesh, and finally. Uh, if Full set of eight, uh, seven, eighteen megawatt uh, CCP has been transferred to Meghnagar, Bangladesh, from Samalkot, uh, Andhra Pradesh, India. So we become a nice host uh, to an old power plant, like a glass of old wine in a new bottle. So what uh, it can be uh, done with our communities? Uh, public consultation is completely denied. First of all, this project. Uh, is out of public consultation. Nobody from the nearby countries has any information about it. Uh, interestingly, ESI said that uh, they put an advert in local newspaper, but uh, we don't think so that the adverting in the local newspaper is the way of uh, communicating with people. However, our Meghna, mighty Meghna River is already turned black due to previous three power plants and 26 industries in Meghna. Reliance will make the water darker. And one very day we will find the fishes and other aquatic animals in museum only. So the construction uh, is going on right now, but still we don't find, uh, find any uh, kind of GRM and uh, translation of uh, project brief and uh, such uh, preliminary documents uh, according to ADB Safeguard for. So the construction site is highly polluted. Uh, we have measured uh, PM 2.5 and PM 10 uh, in, in 2019 and 2020 uh, by this year. And our observations say that we have found eight to 10 times more uh, PM 2.5 and PM 10 uh, particle uh, than the optimum level in the construction site. And uh, this uh, whole uh, island historically was uh, used for grazing. The, uh, for the landowners and the local communities of eight different villages, which have been diminished now. However, the uh, construction site is, is still under grazing practice and ESA admits it, but nobody is get compensated yet. So uh, it, it will be another economic burden for Bangladesh. This project uh, will carry a huge economic burden for this country. Currently, Bangladesh government is paying around USD 2.1.21 uh, billion per year uh, to the private power companies for their ideal power plant in the name of capacity charge. For this particular power plants, we have to pay 40% of this uh, plant load factor, which means we have to pay around $363.6 million per year. So uh, Reliance will recover their entire investment within four years without producing a single unit of electricity. And finally, the cumulative impacts, which is uh, not concerned to anyone, it's like an integrated uh, approach of uh, dumping coal without uh, concerning others. So in 2022, Megnagat will dump 7.1 megaton of carbon from its five power plants only into the atmosphere of Dhaka. And uh, if we uh, look around this area, uh, Meghnagat already lost its 98, 90% uh, of uh, its green space in, uh, from 2002. Now it has only 11% greenery, which will be lost very soon. Uh, for Dhaka, it will make the situation worse than ever. And uh, uh, for the air pollution in pre-monsoon and post-monsoon period, April to September especially, it will contribute okay. significantly mm -hmm. to dust so particles and awesome. heat as the uh, air will uh, blow on northwestern direction at the same time. So uh, combine uh, with... Com more than 17 megatons of carbon in the atmosphere of Dhaka each year. And uh, uh, we are running fast uh, to be oursed. Someday we will permanently win the first position as the most polluted city on earth. 
and Reliance will be a good ally on this because it will surely contribute its bid to convert our capital city, Dhaka, into a carbon dump. Thank you all.